there, it's Zach from Engadget. We are here at Nikon's booth at CP Plus in Yokohama, Japan, taking a look at the Coolpix P520. So at $450, this is the priciest uh, Nikon camera to debut at the show. Uh, and it is a very nice model indeed. We have a 3.2 inch very angle display, which means it pops out and rotates as well. You can also have it flush with the back of the camera if you prefer. We have a dedicated mode dial right there on the top. We have uh, one of two zoom toggles right uh, flanking the, uh, the shutter release up there. We have a uh, power button to the right of the mode dial, a function button. We've got built-in GPS. Uh, there's a display button there on the back, a dedicated video uh, capture button, a dial right there back there, and then a second dial uh, on the back there that's used to navigate through menus with an OK selector in the center, a uh, delete button, a menu button, we have a diopolar adjustment right there. We have a built-in pop-up flash. And then this is the second zoom toggle. And so you can actually control the 42X optical zoom lens using either this toggle here on the left side of the camera or the one on the top, uh, depending on your preference. Uh, let's see what else. We have um, a tripod mount there. Like all the cameras that Nikon has here at CP Plus, we have the battery and SD card compartment taped shut so that you can't pop your own SD card in during the show. But a very nice looking and feeling camera indeed. Okay, now at the other end of the spectrum, we have the Coolpix L820, which is also a super zoom camera. Uh, but doesn't have the specs to match the other one that we just saw. Um, here we have a 16 megapixel BSI CMOS sensor. There's a 30x optical zoom lens uh, versus 40x. We have a 1080p video shooting still, and it does take AA batteries. Unfortunately, the battery compartment is taped shut here, but you can pop them some AAs, which is great for uh, people traveling, although it, it can get quite pricey having to, to purchase new batteries every time you, you need to, to fuel up the camera. Uh, we have dual um, zoom toggles, so over here on the left side you can zoom, uh, control the 30x optical zoom lens. Alternatively, you can use the control right here next to the uh, shutter release button. We have a power on-off toggle, dedicated video capture button. Over here we have a playback button, there is a uh, dial selector playback uh, there. Um, this is for shooting modes, this is a menu button, a delete button as well. Uh, so we don't have a very angle display, it's fixed on the back of the camera. And it's not nearly as sharp as the one that we just saw previously. But uh, this is also quite a bit less expensive at $280 versus $450. So this has been a quick look at the Coolbooks L820 at CP+.